All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Survive Russia. So today we're gonna try and start up the tank. If it's gonna start or not, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna find out because we have our annual uh, camping trip coming up, our annual uh, spring camping trip, which is normally the first time that we will uh, put the tank into use. We have not used it uh, more than once the previous year in 2022 because too busy with the house and stuff, right? It's been standing. So as you can figure out, for almost a year, a little bit more than 11 months, and uh, we're gonna see if we can start it up. So we're gonna check out the the fuel. Fuel is obviously how much there is. We're gonna check out the the um, engine oil and blah blah blah. So you can see it's uh, kind of leaning to one side there. And uh, what we want to do is actually to get it over there where it stands straight because we want to lift it up forwards and rear forwards and rear because we're going to change out this uh, you see we lost the wheel and uh, we have to of course uh, pump all the tires and so on <laughs> but we are of course going to have to uh, remove the tracks and uh, yeah, we're going to drive out and polish the tracks soon hopefully and uh, in there we have a new uh, road wheel, that's what they're called. They're called Katki in, uh, in Russian. That is the old one. You can see the hub in there just got ripped out. And it's uh, very difficult to, to repair. But we'll see if we can repair it at some point. So we have a spare. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the hood off there. Or our tarpaulin. Here we have one of the fuel tanks. It has uh, have four fuel tanks for it. You can put four fuel tanks on, and uh, I just keep them as reserves. We definitely have diesel in it. I up to hear something. But the question is, how is the quality? Yeah, we have 50 liters, obviously. So we're gonna have to try and uh, siphon something or some of it out and uh, see how it looks. It smells all right, actually. So we have this guy here. But I think I have to do it the hard way because I think that the, the frost might have killed the valve in here. We'll see. We will see about that. No, it actually works. Let's check the oil, let's get the, the hood off. And uh, one of the things, another thing we're gonna try and do is we should gonna see if we can see if we can give it a little bit more power. A little more power. This is the old... Uh, license plates so you can see them from above <coughs> if you a helicopter something out searching for you that is the right one because there's, there's quite a lot of these guys here around but we're gonna see if we can give it some more power one of the things is that we're gonna see if we can remove this uh, we can of course but uh, to remove the exhaust because it's very very long that is not so good actually. And then we're gonna see if we can. I know we have some wind perhaps. Then we're gonna see if we can. Uh, we can fiddle a little bit with the diesel pump. One of my friends who's a farmer. It's a little bit, looks a little bit dry there. <laughs> but one of my friends who's a farmer, he said that. Um, we might want to try and uh, remove this uh, exhaust here altogether 
perhaps it's of course not really useful to have it straight up there but we have to try and do something because yes isn't it a little bit weak because it's very very long it's not so good it's actually not made for the exhaust is not made for the for, for diesel engines it's made for the old v8 engines but this is uh, original to the to the vehicle this guy here they just chose to use the old uh, exhaust system so we have our pump there we're gonna try and screw a little bit on that let's check the oil let's see down here if we have any liquids laying around we don't we have the dipstick down here we have oil full let's get some cooling liquid in it let's see how much we need shouldn't be a hell of a lot we'll see about that Now, this is just a few liters. I could hear some went down there. The radiators are here, fans there. So, I actually found a, a can full of uh, diesel which definitely smells fresher than this. It must be like half a year old at least or something. I don't know, I don't even remember when I bought it, but that's 50 liters. This guy, that's most likely 30 or something. So, we're gonna see if we can uh, get rid of this. So it's just gonna start uh, from what is in the the fuel filter and all that good stuff. But uh, let's see if we can get this guy here running. I got it running. <laughs> I think I was trying to fool myself a little bit with the smell of this uh, fuel here, diesel fuel. So I managed to get. 50 liters of fuel up there, all by myself. <laughs> but let's see if it looks different. It definitely smells different. It looks uh, <laughs> a lot better. I said I was definitely fooling myself or trying to. And that is definitely why I started to look for fuel anyway, just to see if I had some. And I actually had 50 liters. This is completely clear as water almost. I said, yeah, yeah, fuel looks all right just like completely yellow that looks a whole lot better all right guys so i actually found out something funny and our body one of the tank team have been arriving uh i found out we actually have a a muffler here we we always thought it was just going straight through here and out but no and this makes makes things in, even worse Actually, with the with, with, when it comes to the power, anyway. So we disconnected the little muffler here. Now we're gonna hear what it actually sounds like. It's crazy. We never removed this lid, so I was just investigating today because this is a uh, non. This this is just an ordinary tube, right? This is uh, stainless steel. So I thought maybe there's a joint in here that we could just uh, pop off but uh, there wasn't but then there was this I was like what the hell is that it was of course a muffler
All right, guys, that's all for this little tank video here. Uh, we will go continue in a couple of days, and uh, it's not going to take too long before the guys are going to come, and we're going to make a, a big service on it and all that good stuff, and then we're going to go tank camping. So, guys, please check links in the description, and uh, please consider to becoming a channel member, for example. That is one of the things you can do to support the channel. So, basically, until next time, guys, get out and train, get it done. Do something awesome and uh, see you in the next video guys. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one.